Hello, just Jamie here, so if you're new to my channel, like and subscribe, hit the notifications for future upcoming content on microcomputers, consoles, pretty much everything retro. I've just also opened up the Patreon page, so for further information, advice, check the link in my description. So let's talk Spectrum. Uh, we're talking emulating Spectrum today, ZX Spectrum. So, first of all, I'm going to recommend uh, you to the Spectacular emulator and this is a great emulator so you've got the option to try it out on trial for around 30 days if you like what you see then you can purchase it for a very small price uh, as you can see on screen now it's also available on the app store for apple and also on google play for android phones uh, this tutorial is going to be for windows and i'm using windows 11 and i'm going to try and get straight to the point with this tutorial so let's start with doing this now so first off let's just go to download section at the top and here we go, we have a Spectaculator for Windows XP, Vista and 7 and 8. Uh, also got a price here of 9.99, and you've got 30 days like I said, so let's just go to download this. So it downloads as um, a .msi file. So let's begin by setting this up, so what we're going to do is double left click on the .msi, going to press next accept the terms in the license agreement next and it's also going to give you a location for the installation so by default this is going to go to c drive in programs and of course if you want this to store elsewhere then you just press browse and then you just select a hard drive or other uh, other location you want this to install to but for this tutorial i'm just going to go for the default c drive so next and then install so this will take a few seconds depending on your hardware and the great thing about uh, emulators such as this one is that you don't need anything super duper to make this work it's a very basic emulator of course spectrum games are pretty lightweight in comparison with today's games so uh, this is now finished and i'm gonna just check launch spectaculator uh, and i'm gonna press finish and i'm gonna just minimize this so you can see what we're doing and get rid of this installer so we got the options here then so we got try it and because i've used this for a few days myself on trial i've got 27 days left so just for this tutorial, I'm going to try it. And it's entirely up to you what you wish to do with this part. I'm going to just um, uncheck this. And this is it. And if you're a child watching this, this was your boot screen back in the day, pretty much in around 1982. Okay. Um, it is what it is. So let's take a look at the options we got here. So if I go to File and Open, I've got two games in here which Spectacular comes with. So I'm going to just load up Dynamite Dan. Double left click. And there we have it. So of course you would use this as you would a real 48K Spectrum. So let's just go for K for keyboard and press enter okay so if you don't fancy playing this with the keyboard and you prefer using a joystick or a controller then all you need to do is just uh, get your cursor and then you just go up to control if you left click on this go down the keyboard in joystick and I've selected Kempston joystick um, as you are probably aware if you're an original Spectrum fan most games were ran with Kempston joysticks and this is detected and picked up my PS3 controller just fine and again for joystick just to ensure that this is selected as Kempston joystick so let's try this again. So we're using X here to jump. And don't you just love those uh, those sounds the ZX Spectrum produced? Just absolutely amazing. 
So maybe my younger audience might be thinking, what the hell is that? This set of standards, a set of standards for the computing industry at the time in Great Britain, we was known for uh, just masterpieces, uh, technicians, designers of computers of the time. So, uh, immaculate stuff really. So let's just show you what else this uh, spectacular emulator can do. If we go up to view, we got different options here. So we can take away scan lines if we just left click on this. You will notice uh, the screen no longer has that old school liney effect uh, called CRT lines. Uh, personally, I prefer it like this. I think it looks a bit more true to the real thing. And let's see what else we can do with this. So if we go back to view, we can actually even turn this into a black and white TV. And of course, at the time in the early 80s when games like this was around, a lot of people couldn't afford uh, to give their children brand new color TV. So they'd have to put up with some black and white portable hands me down. So let's go back up again. Let's see what else we can do with this. We can even switch model of this um, spectrum. We can even change model. So if we go here and we got a range there of different spectrum models. So we got the plus two, the gray case, and the plus two A, the really nice looking black case. So there's a lot there going on with Spectacular. It's very good. So let's just go to ZX Spectrum plus three. And for those who know your history of Spectrum computers, the plus three had the disk drive. And there we go. So of course this is still in black and white. So all I need to do then is go to view and uncheck black and white, and there we go, we have it in color. And you'll notice that if I move my cursor around, the screen will just wobble. So that's just to give us the option of the bar at the top here. So once you leave that, it's all good. And of course, we can use our keys to make this move down to plus three basic, calculator 48 basic. So another thing I'm gonna show you is um, you might wanna play your own games with Spectacular, and that's fine. There's loads and loads and loads of brand new games being released for ZX Spectrum computers. In fact, the community is just bursting out the seams with new games coming out. I personally can't keep up with it myself. Um, so I downloaded one earlier on for just for this tutorial. So what I'm gonna do first is go to Control and I'm going to switch this back to um, the game I downloaded was for 128, 128 gig game. So just OK that. So if I go to File, I'm going to find my new game I downloaded and I'm going to include in this tutorial some websites I use to get some of the latest games for Spectrum. So I'm going to just go to File, Open, and I'm going to search for this game on my desktop, which is where it's located. So Desktop. And it's inside this uh, TD128 folder. So go inside there and we have it here. This is a ZX Spectrum audio cassette file. So just double left click on that. And here we go. This is a fairly new release for ZX Spectrum 128K. And this is called Tiny Dungeon, I believe. I'm not familiar with this game, but uh, I seen it and it caught my eye and I thought it looked pretty fun. So yeah, no idea what this game is about, but just like old school Spectrum games, most games were, what the hell do I do? Just like games of that era. So let me take you out of this. So if I just uh, drag my cursor along, and if I shut this emulator down for now, exit and press yes, I'm going to show you a couple of websites I recommend to get some of these modern games from, or even some of the classic original games. Uh, Itch.io is a game for indie developers uh, to upload their games. You can either pay for them in some cases, or you can just download them for free to try them out. So uh, search bar at the top here, uh, ZX Spectrum. And here we go. So you'll notice lots of new Spectrum games to download. Um, one of the games I wouldn't mind trying at some point is this Alien Girl game, which actually looks really cool. I like the look of this one. It looks a bit like Alien 3 on Mega Drive or Amiga. 
So let's just check these out. So if you look through here, uh, you've got a game called Sorcery Island, which is for the 48k model, but that's fine because Spectaculator, remember, can uh, change to 48k to 128k. And we also got this Vampire Slayer game just here. It looks a little bit like Castlevania. So let's just download Vampire Slayer and check this out. So. Just as I was saying, it looks like a clone of Castlevania, which is pretty amazing uh, considering the limitations of the ZX Spectrum computers. So I'm going to just download this, and you've got the option here of paying for it or just take me to the downloads. So we've got different files here. I can either download a tap file, which means cassette file, which I'm going to download. I'm going to download this one. And there it goes. So we have our tap file and I'm going to drag this back out and I'm going to test this one out on the emulator. Try it of course because we've still got the trial version. And if I go to file, go to open and remember that game is on my desktop. So double left click. And there we go. So number two is obviously Kempston because we're using a controller and this emulates the joystick, Kempston joystick. And there we go, controlling this for a PlayStation 3 controller. And the color clash just, well, it's nostalgic. So for new people watching this, younger people watching this, the color clash you can see, uh, the change of colors, it's very common for Spectrum games. However, there are programmers nowadays who can eliminate that color clash situation, but some people might keep it there just for nostalgia. So this game is looking pretty good. Okay, so let's go back, head out of here. So we drag our cursor across. And I am now going to leave this intact. So that's our itch.io website. Another very good website for some really, really good games is my beloved Cytronic website, which I highly recommend. Uh, they deal with Commodore 64 games, physical releases mainly, but they have done Spectrum games. So yes, uh, through Cytronic, you can buy digital games or you can buy, as you can see, physical games here. So if you just scroll through the Cytronic website, you will find a section on there for ZX Spectrum games. Another uh, really good resource for ZX Spectrum emula emulation is of course the World of Spectrum, which is a very old website and it's got a lot on there. Um, so you're going to have emulators again if you want to test out of your emulators. Uh, it's got forums on there and it's got archive which is lots of games and information and downloads for ZX Spectrum games. So if you're looking for either modern ZX Spectrum games or old school 1980s Spectrum games, you can guarantee they're on the world of Spectrum. So for now, I think I'm going to just crack on and have another go with playing this awesome looking demo. And of course, as always, if you've got any questions, uh, just leave a comment or head over to my Patreon. I hope this video has helped you and have a good day.